Hey guys, this is David with The Verge, and after months and months of talking about it, Apple's finally released the Mac Pro, and we've actually got one in our studio now. It's designed very much for professionals, and so we're just going to give it to our video team, but before we did, we decided to connect it to a 4K Sharp monitor, which is the one that Apple's selling in its stores, and really start to see how this thing works. Uh, the hardware, for its part, is really kind of wild looking. It's about 11 pounds, it's about 10 inches tall and 6 inches around, and it's a lot smaller and a lot heavier than we expected it to be. It's really cool, it's sort of an ornamental object. Uh, there's only one Apple logo on it on the back above all the ports. Everything else is really stark and minimalist and just crazy reflective. We've only been using it for a few minutes now, but it's really quiet. It sucks air up through the bottom and expels it out the top as part of a cooling process. And it does it all the time, it seems like. There's always air coming out of the top, but it never does it particularly loudly. There's really almost no design or flair to speak of here except a small power light on the back. But when you spin it around, there's a light around all of the ports that lights up and just sort of breathes so you can see the ports. So really the story of the Mac Pro is its performance, obviously. There's a new version of Final Cut that's designed to be really fast to render multiple cameras in 4K without any waiting. And we'll be playing games, we'll be doing all sorts of stuff. But for right now, we're just watching 4K videos, and it's already really beautiful coming out of the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro is on sale now, starting at $3,000, and we'll have lots more about it in the next few days.